Alright, so what's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to some more Pokemon Rejuvenation. We are back in Grand Dream City. If you guys have not seen the last episode, that was a very climatic episode. The, that episode was like an hour long, maybe like 20 minutes left over after the hour. There was so much story in that last episode, dude, but it was so good. It was like, it was like seeing all these characters come back to like it was it was wild it was so good i i love it that was phenomenal that was fun it was, it was great it was a great ass episode if you haven't gone and seen it definitely go and see it it's a really long video so definitely be sure to go ahead and uh grab some snacks if you have the time but definitely be sure to go peep that when you can but we are back with some more pokemon rejuvenation where we left off like i said if you haven't go check it out uh, let's see how many likes we can get in the first hour of this video being live if you're watching this in the future even after the fact Still, leave it a like. You know, don't feel left out. You know, don't don't be don't feel lazy either. Leave a like. I know you can do it. But let's get back to it because what I thought was the end of the beta. Like I thought I thought this version was gonna end at the pyramid. It isn't. It's time to go get Lavender back, and the rest of the guys that were turned into stone, like Venom, um, and several other people as well. Uh, so this time, I was told to uh go ahead and talk to uh delpha when it's time to uh i guess depart but that's another thing as well uh braxton actually evolved into a delphox and she was fire Mwah, that bitch was good <clears throat> hello dr isha i believe you have a visitor a visitor i'm very busy is this a necessary meeting just shoot them away for now i'll talk to them uh, as my schedule clears they say they wish to in inquire you about your success rate. I see. In that case, send them in. Yes, sir. You must be the famous Isha. I've heard a lot about you. I am he. What brings you here to my office? Wait, aren't you that child who was caught in the explosion? You were here in my care, but then she... I was just curious about your incredible success rate. It's quite impressive for anyone to have higher than a 50% chance rate or success rate when it comes to the medical field. Uh, I'm just enamored by it. Uh, it's so interesting. Almost unbelievable, don't you think? As unbelievable as it is, it is the truth. Uh, it has been documented and verified by many official inquir inquiries. Uh, but, oh, oh, I'm sure it's just that there's something that's been bothering me. How about you taking the job of restoring life back to the victims uh, of that stone crisis? Yes, what about it? If you're so good at it, uh, good at what you do, then restoring them should be no problem, right? It's proving to be quite a task, but I am confident that I will make a breakthrough. I have a friend uh, that was turned to stone, you know. Her name is Venom, or Veronica. If you, used to, if you use her legal name, ah, uh, yes, Veronica. I sure do miss her. When will I get to visit her again after this? Unfortunately, Veronica will be unavailable to visit for quite some time. Huh? What do you mean? That's classified information, but... Hmm... What about Lavender? What did you do to her? What? Eyes on me, Doc. It's rude to not have eye contact. What about Lavender? I don't know. You tell me. I'm, I'm the one asking you. It's just that I haven't heard much from her since she was admitted here. And visiting hours have been canceled for quite some time. I wonder, is there anyone, is there anyone even to visit at this point? What are you implying? About the success rate, Doc. I have reason to believe. Excuse me one sec. Uh-huh. Yeah. Really? Good work. I'll speak to you in a bit. Right, so about what we were discussing, Doc. Ugh, what is the meaning of this? Don't move or things won't be pretty. No contact in the authorities either. What is this madness? Just who is this now? Don't remember me, Isha? That's a little heartbreaking. You should have locked me back up. You should have locked me up. Letting me go was a mistake. You're that Braxton. You've evolved. You look different from a normal Death Fox. Thanks to the technology of Black Creek Corporation, yes I do. But we're not here to talk about me, we're here to talk about Lavender. Where is she? <laughs> I don't have to tell you all the thing. Oh, he, oh, he, oh, he want that smoke! I just have to wait for the authorities to eventually show up and resort and escort you all out of here. As long as I don't say a thing, I'm fine. Yeah, no, sorry, but we have thought about every angle already. Remember that phone call, Isha, the one I just got? That was a call from my friends. They notified me that they've made it to the underground base of yours. What? That's impossible. I would have been notified. You can't be notified if there's no one to notify you. All of your precious subordinates are all sleeping for a bit. So as my friends take pictures and build evidence for its existence, we'll be taking you hostage here. 
As you can see, it doesn't matter if the authorities come here or not, because each outcome will have proof of your corruption. So let's ask this again, where is Lavender? <laughs> Clever girls, but there's one more thing you didn't count for. One path no one but myself could foresee. What path would that be? This one. Excuse me? Huey Nick, get in here. What the? It's just came through a secret entrance. Huey and Duff are going after him. I'm still a little weak from that whole explosion ordeal, but I ran out of I, so I run out of breath easily. I'm going to be useful uh, and see what I okay. I, I'm gonna go with them because you obviously are useless. I'm sorry, Aaron. I love you, but Hospital of Ruin. Oh, we got to battle Isha. That's my fight. Y'all move. I got this. Where's Lavender? Tell me right now. Oh, Huey, you and I both know I wouldn't just hand her over like that. I know. That's why I'm going to make you hand her over. <laughs> no, that won't happen. If you're worried about me harming her, you shouldn't be. She's perfectly fine. In fact, I'll prove it to you. Bring out the vessel. Vessel? Let go of me. I said let go. Huey, Nick, and that... No, is that, is that you, Braxton? Yes, it's me. I've come to save... I've come to save you, yeah. Save her? I already said that won't happen. Why are you doing this? I may be able to answer that. Okay. It's because this guy is trying to make up for the faults of his father. My father? I did some digging on your computer. You make some things so accept you make things so accessible, you know. Dr. Isaiah Halvard, a famous brain surgeon and avian pre-calamity, uh, he was known for his incredible 99% success rate, but he was also known for doing illegal experiments on people, most notably their son. Now, don't this that doesn't sound familiar? The only thing I don't get is why Lavender. Why are you dragging her through this mess? I would have must thank you, Aaron. That's your name, right? Because of you, I no longer have to act the way I did. I can let it all out. Everyone, be careful. Do you want to know how I felt living in constant stress and this burden? Yes, you're right, Aaron. I am the son of Isaiah Halvard. Uh, the esteemed brain surgeon with the 99% chance rate, the same rate I have right now. But unfortunately, he died a very long time ago. Well, in a way, he did. So let me guess, you're just insane because of the constant pressure of living up to your father's expectations? And you're performing illegal experiments on Lavender because that's what your father did to you. I'm right, aren't I? This is your truth, isn't it, Isha? You're a pathetic man who, who was abused and is using that as an excuse to bring harm to the innocent. I'm sorry for what your father did to you, but this is unforgivable. No. Aaron, you have it all wrong, huh? The man you're talking to right now is Isaiah Halford. The brain surgeon! What? Well, yes, it's nice to meet you all. My name is Isaiah Halvard, the best brain pre... Wait a minute, that makes sense because... What? This game has so much shit to it, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Alright, best brain surgeon pre-calamity and post. How is that possible? Isaiah was found dead in his home. Ah, uh, I suppose calling myself completely uh, Isaiah Halvard is incorrect. You see, make no mistake, I am Isha, son of Isaiah, but I am also Isaiah. Let me put it this way, half of my brain is Isha, half of my brain is Isaiah. Not physically, but mentally. We are one and the same. You're not making any sense. Let me start from the beginning. It began when I was born a surgical prodigy. At first, I truly wanted to help people, and I did. I brought hope to the people who had none in the first place. But as life went on, disease came... Dis oh, I'm sorry. The disease became harder to treat. People's expectations were high. The expectations I held for myself was too high. I became obsessed with success. Originally, that was because I didn't want anyone to die. I did not want to bring upon despair to a family, but eventually, it became all about that number, my 99% success rate. I did whatever I could to maintain it, illegal practices, deals with the black market, I played God, and as a result, God decided to play me. At the age of 45, I was diagnosed with an illness that, that not even I could cure. The doctor with the 99% success rate diagnosed with, incur with an incurable disease. I was horrified, but I was so I it was so ironic I couldn't help but laugh. This guy is a psychopath. I tried and tried and tried again, and nothing I did would bring me closer to a cure. I would soon die a painful death, resulting uh, in my present success rate to fall. The humiliations of a doctor failing himself was too much to handle. I needed more years to perfect an antidote, so I've devised a little plan. Immortality was still outside the realm of possibility, but even death isn't without loopholes. Using my years of research, I found a way to transfer my memories onto a family member. 
It took many tests and many experiments, but eventually I was successful. It's a shame my colleague had to rat me out. That's when you took your son and fled, right? When you were caught? That's right. Guess where I was taken? Nick knows. How does Nick know? They went to the place my father took me in Zone Zero. I remember that. Nick and- that was, that was like two episodes ago. Nick and two others visited the basement of my father's home, old home. I still have the place under surveillance, so I managed to, to- so imagine my shock and horror when I saw you three running through my things. Anyways, I was placed within one of the capsules, and my father in the other one. THOSE WERE THE CAPSULES! THOSE WERE THE CAPSULES THAT WERE UN- Remember in Ground Zero, this is like epi- this is like maybe two or three episodes ago, there was those capsules. One of the capsules were dead, and the other one was open. Wow. Okay. The process was only take was only supposed to take a few hours, but due to calamity, the procedure malfunctioned. My stasis pods are designed to keep the person within them completely preserved as long as the internal battery runs. I was kept in a coma for a state of like ten for the next ten years. When I woke up, I had the memories of myself and my father Isaiah. Or uh, yeah, and your father took your life from you. Aren't you angry? Angry? Of course I was angry. I was scared too. But I had all my father's skills. I could easily make a name for myself once again, and I did. This time, I'm going to uphold my own success rate. Wait, is he gonna is he gonna take Lavender's life? Everything was going well until I until I turned 45. Call it fate or call it result of genius. My father's procedure worked a little too well. The brain is very powerful, you know. It's capable of all sorts of things. The memories of my father's of my father stored in my own brain. Remember my father's illness. I reconstructed it once again. That would mean that you're terminally ill again? Yes, death followed me to another body. But this time I have I had no relatives. All I had was myself. I decided that I needed that I needed yet more time to work on a cure for this infernal disease. The fit I thought I had escaped was here once more, so I looked for another vessel. But it cannot be with just anyone. The two people must share a connection or else the procedure would end up in the death of both. Nick and I had our first connection when we crossed paths on a bridge. Do you remember that interaction, Nick? I sure did. I obsessed over you. I couldn't stop thinking about you. I wanted you to be my next vessel, but I had no idea how to find you again. But I was blessed with Lavender and Veronica's situation. They brought you to me. I was overjoyed when I, but then I realized that Lavender and I had a connection too, an even stronger one. We're not gonna let that happen. Your father may have stolen your life, but we're not gonna let you take Lavender's. That's right. Best give up now. Give up? I don't wanna. I wanna keep living. Why are you getting in my way? Lavender won't die. She won't be hurt. We'll just become one. We'll be happily, three of us. You sicken me. Nurse, please take Lavender to her stasis pod. As for the rest of you, I've grown strong just in case. You want a battle? Oh, pull it up! I'm not worried about man. Come on, dog. I, I'm, I'm, I was waiting for this. I, I want you to know. I literally sat here and I was like, "You want a battle?" The moment he said, "Let's go," I'm like, "Let's do this, dog." Real talk though, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Um, shadow bomb. You toxic spikes me. I'm not worried about you. Goodbye. Come on, dog. He has flamethrower. I know he has flamethrower. I can survive one. Thank you. Thank you. Kill Weezing. Get him out of here. We're done. We're good. We're good. We're good. Next is going to be Vanillox. Let me go ahead and let me, uh, let me, let me King Shield real quick. Get back into my, uh, my, this form really quick. Hidden Power. I got, that's Hidden Power Fire. It gotta be Hidden Power Fire. That's the only reason why he went for that. Ultra Potion, let's go. In Power Fire, okay. And then let's go ahead and let's uh, Iron Head the absolute fuck out of you. Goodbye. Wait, why I King Shield? Excuse me? King Iron Head, what the fuck is going on? Iron Head, thank you. Bow! I should kill. It does not kill. But I know it will kill. I know I will kill. Take the shadow sneak boo. Yeah. Goodbye. Next is going to be Dust Nor Okay. Um oh, hold on, wait a minute, hold on. You got toxic on you, don't you? Yeah, you do. You do, you do. You're good, you're good, you're good. I got this too. Let me go ahead and uh pop a toxic on you. Goodbye. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to 
heal up. It's fine. I'm going to heal up my guy. Where are you at? Batosai, really quick. Get him up. Get him up. Get him up. Get him up. Shadow Punch. Not worried. I'm not worried about you, big homie. I should be, though. I should be, though. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. chill out. Yeah, okay, never mind. All right. Um, What am I going to do now? I'm going to shoot out in the Batosai. Batosai is good. I'm going to King Shield. King Shield so I can get his attack lower. I know he's going to uh, Shadow Punch me. So King Shield, Shadow Punch. Yes. Lower your attack. Goodbye. And now let's go for the Shadow Ball. And that should be the kill. That should be the kill. That should, this is right here should be the kill. Goodbye. Goodbye. There you go. All right. Dust Noir is gone. Next is going to be Executor. Is it Alolan? It is Alolan. Okay. I'm going to King Shit again just to be out like a, ooh, okay, 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 okay. Um, let me get a Shadow Bar really quick. Darkness taking the attack. Trick Room. I'm not worried about that still. Shadow Sneak. Yeah. There we go. Get him out of here. We're done. If I fail, there's no use in living. There's no use. Shut up, dog. Now that's just disappointing. I think I think I could cry. I want to cry. Do I have permission to cry? Behave, you insolent child. This is no time to have a meltdown. Why are we having a fight, father? We don't have like, we don't even have multiple personality disorder. I just like to pretend I do because it's fun. This is disturbing. This must be a side effect of Isaiah's procedure. His brain is having trouble recognizing which memories actually belong to Ishir Isaiah. As a result, we get this. I guess I'm just a bit juvenile, after all. Uh, I've never got to live out a childhood. Aw. Even after death, he disappoint me. Damn! I think that's something my father would say. That's sad, but it's a little... But isn't it a little amusing? This is the guy who was in charge of everyone in the hospital? Lavender, Venom, and the others had to bear witness to this freak? Oh no, I could never act like this in public. Your friends, everyone else, they were all in good hands. I took care of them, like they were my children. But then that bitch from Team Zen had to take her had to take her and everything fell apart. Are you talking about Anastasia? Who did she take? Don't say that name, she'll come back if you say her name. Three times in a mirror. She came here after the explosion and demanded she'd have four of my patients. Cassandra knows my secret. I had no choice but to oblige. Three of them, four patients, were Alice, Alan, and myself. But well, who was the fourth? The fourth was... Get back here, you bastard! Hey, Yui, wait! This is for torturing Lavender. Beat this bitch! Yeah! Beat this bitch! Yeah! What up, what What's the name? What's the, what's the name of that, uh, D.O. Punch? I forgot the name of it! I forgot the name of the D.O. Punch! What's the name? Fuck! Fuck! I'm bored. Don't interfere, for your insolent pest. Huey! Grab my hand. I can't. You psychic? Understood. I got this. Rent here. You almost killed me. Do it now. Cross poison. Yeah, this is that guy's. My generator. I needed that, you imbeciles. We know. What do you mean, we? The stage is here. Venom! Let's Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! He's talking about me, the fourth page, the survivor return. Let's go! Let's go! Venom! Focus, and let's take care of the psychopath first. Got it? You're cornered, Isha. No way to escape, there's no way to perform your precious procedure. Your life ends as Isha Halver. My life ends? I haven't, I couldn't. But if I die, I'll die. I'll die. Good. Huey, it's your time, right. Hey, Lavender, it's time to go home. The dumb doctor won't even lay another finger on you. Huey, everyone, thank you. Let's go dog let's go when we have a brand dream city we are grateful for your efforts uh though next time we prefer if you call the authorities before doing something this hasty you're all unharmed but imagine what would have happened if things went wrong we're perfectly capable of ourselves but thanks anyway uh all right boys take him downtown this may be the end for me but it's the end for all of you as well 
Are you done having a mental breakdown? Just go in dignity. What if he like poisoned them or did something to them or whatever? Each and every person is a phone of Infernal City. Perhaps it won't happen today or tomorrow or the next day. But one day my gift will rise and then it will be me who will be laughing. A zombie outbreak or something like that? I don't know. But no, it wouldn't affect them because they're all because they all went to the uh, the, 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 the 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 fountain of rejuvenation. The the whatever. I'm from time. We will not take the threat lightly. We will record it, investigate its meaning. Until then, please be safe or please stay safe, citizens. All right, Jenny. Thank you, love. Appreciate you. That was ominous. I wonder what he meant by that. I'm sure it will come to light eventually. For now, it's probably best not to think about it. Uh, besides, he said that right in front of Officer Jenny like an idiot. They'll take care of it. You're right. Let the police handle some things for once. Venom, how did you know that where we were? Oh, yeah, about that. The station had Venom aboard and didn't tell anyone about it. She had a feeling that, was, that the spring would be powerful enough to restore Venom, and it turns out she was right. Why not mention it to anyone? We had the right to know. She said she was irrelevant to the mission, thus didn't want to distract everyone. Uh, personally, I didn't. I believe she didn't want to raise everyone's hopes in case of failure. I think it's also why she shooed everyone so suddenly at the end of our mission. I was more so asking how you two knew where we were. Oh. <laughs> Adam told us. He said he got sidetracked with his bro and everyone out and everyone left without him. Ren and I stopped by the apartment, but no one was there, so I just assumed. I see, clever. If the spring has the capability of bringing stone victims back to life, then this is a breakthrough. Yes, I actually brought some of the spring's water back with me. Once things settle down, I see what I can do. Venom's back, dude. I don't really know how to say this. It's weird to hear you being. It's weird to hear you being hesitant. Don't worry, we don't buy it. I'm just really happy to see everyone again. Aw, oh, it's Venom getting sappy now. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up, Ren. First thing I see when I wake up is your ugly mug. I really must have been, I really must be cursed. With every curse comes a blessing, you know. Man, Braxton, is that really you? You've evolved into a Del Fox. Not any Del Fox I've ever seen before, but it's still cool. Oh, that's very nice of you, Venom. Thank you. It's a recent change that'll take some time that'll take some time getting used to, but I'll be more helpful from now on. No doubt about it. Uh, and I can't care about Nick. How you been doing? Uh, it's been going. I've been carrying these guys on my back. I got the main character claws, you know? I've been carrying on my back. I'm talking about like, if there was like a carrying, like I'd be right here. I'd be the backpack and it'd be an, it, you, who remembers God of War 1? Well, what's his name was like carrying the fucking, uh, the, uh, Pandora's, uh, box or whatever the fuck that shit was in the desert that's me walking endlessly through this world hopefully things turn out turn around for the better ren are you sure this is a venom this is venom this isn't be regular behavior for him don't know maybe mistakes have got the wrong one hey i'm just happy to see everyone again like i said i think we're about that just wait till melia finds you that'd be a real sight to see i'm scared to see her it's been so long everything will work out don't worry i know i'm just over anxious i can't get over good news everyone live is okay they just want to do a general check and make sure she's completely healthy. As soon as they're done with her, they'll release her. Huh? What? I, what? Uh, what? But I... I don't understand how it's... I moved... I'm, I like how I moved out the way. I was like, uh, I know where this is going. I missed you. Three days later... Okay. Hi, Nick. Uh, bye, Nick. <laughs> Hope you have a good day. We're going to hang out in the city if you're curious. I'll bring back a churro for you uh, or something. Good morning, Nick. I'm glad to see your bright and shiny face. I don't have to probably thank you for saving me back then. You told me that you already have the psychic badge yesterday. Even though I can't give you a badge, just have a battle sometime. All right, I'm off. You can't give me a badge? Why? Good day to you, Nick. Oh, brother. Good afternoon, Nick. Finally awake. Just got back from the Hospital of Hope. The nurses there have been treating all the stone victims with the special spring water. They should be up and ready to face the world again after a few more days. You should have seen my mom's face when I walked in front of her like nothing bad ever happened. She broke down crying, and then I broke down crying, and then we both broke down crying together. But I guess all is well. Hey, don't jump on the couch. Oops, sorry. Nick, how could you? <laughs> it's not funny. I'll kick your ass. Okay. Wait, no, I won't. I take that back. Also fair. What about Nick? They're guilty too. I'll kick both of your asses. I'm serious. I'm sure you will, but that's fine with me. 
Yeah, whatever you said. Um, you said that already. By the way, Tesla sent you a gift basket. It was filled with cookies and other. Wait, what? Where? Where is the gift? Give us the gift basket. I'm hungry. Amber sent a card with the two. Looks like she wants to see you later. Oh, that's really nice of her. Remind me to call her later. I'd like to apologize to her for talking, for taking your charge out as well. That wasn't great of me to do. Apologize? Seriously, what's up with you? You have a fever? Nick, tell me you're hearing this. I'm not dreaming, right? You're not dreaming. I just had a lot to think about while being a statue. I'm sure you thought I was unconscious during the period, but I wasn't. I was drifting along. It was cold. It was lonely. Uh, it was like a grim reaper gave me a free preview of what death would be like. I started thinking about all the people I took for granted. How horrible of a person I've been, especially to my friends and family. I just don't want to be that anymore. I've caused enough trouble for a lifetime. Uh, that very well may be the case, but the fact that you're recognizing that you haven't been great is already a step in the step forward. And not everyone will give you right will forgive you right away, but if you work on it, I'm sure you'll shape yourself into a better person in no time. That's a gem for niggas. Hey yo, pay attention to that. Sigh, working that's gonna suck. But that would be work. But it'd be worth it. Thanks, Nick. Melly, I'll do my best. And do your best, you must. Cannon! You're here! What? Okay. Rena told me about this. The cannon we knew was just a persona. Cannon's real identity is a servant of Miria, Alexandra of now. Uh, uh huh. Anyway, do you mind getting down from there? I literally just wiped this table down this morning. This won't take a second. I'm here to relay a message from Lady Alexandra. She wishes for the following people to visit her in Shashilla Village. Nick, Alita, Melia, Alan, Alice, Ren, finally, Aaron. Al Alita and Ren are already accounted for, so that leaves the rest of you. What does she want? Is it important? Shashilla is kind of far from here. Alexandra did not specify what this encounter would entail, but, it sh but if transportation is a worry, do not. I can personally escort all of you, if that's the most convenient for you. Might come as well. I do not. What do you want to start doing? Okay, it's fine. And by here, she means off the table, preferably not by in the lobby. Very well. I'm on my way there now. The teleporting is kind of neat. I wonder what Zella is saying. What's uh? Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of confused too. And I haven't even begun to delve into the case with Amanda. Just what I need. Amanda, what's wrong with her? It's a very 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 long story that I will get into later. For now. Let's just gather Alice, Alan, and Aaron, okay? Gotcha, let's go. You motherfucker. Okay. Alright, cool. This is it. This is it, Shaw. That's it, y'all. Alright, hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. Rejuvenation was back. It was very short-lived, but I had so much fun playing this game. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you're watching this in the future, thank you so much for, I guess, binge-watching this. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next in the next update. Honestly, this update really, really did, like, take the cake. I think this is probably the best version of this game. I think I think this version, uh, or this story, like, like this story expansion was probably the best story expansion uh in this entire game's run um it's crazy i think they were like two three years in and we maybe four or five and we are like it looks like the end like now that i'm thinking about it we have maybe four more badges left hopefully the next update is a long one where we can get two gym badges and then the next update i honestly you know how i said like i i kind of don't want the next update to be like you know i don't want it to take such a short time i'm really okay with this being like the last update for like a while and then the next update be like one big ass like story driven you get two gym badges and then you pretty much just kind of just uh wait for the next one to be the finale finale one do any like little bug fixes here and there and then that would be it you know what i'm saying i wouldn't mind that at all um man that this was a great the last four or five episodes man that was it was mwah, that bitch was gas i i'm 100 for it but i'm gonna dip out hope you guys enjoy everybody let's go say goodbye to the guys let's go let's go say goodbye to the gang hold on where y'all at where y'all at where y'all at where's the where's the pokemon center at where's the pokemon center at i need the i need the pc where's the pc i hate grand dream with a pass and where's it at uh not up here right up here i go up here it's fine where is it at where is it at where is it at where is it at where's the pc where's my damn pc here it is all right it's time to say goodbye to the guys, everybody, for right now. You already know the deal. I mean, it's kind of weird doing this because, like, everybody else kind of 
Uh, everybody else is going to be like, if you're binge watching, it's going to be like, I'm about to see these guys in the next episode. <laughs> what are you talking about? Anyway, shout out to my new guy, Batosai. I literally just added him maybe like two or three days, two or three uh, videos ago. And he has been nothing but a trooper. He's been carrying the team. Or well, He was honestly the missing piece what I need for the team. Shout out to Comet for taking over, coming back and stepping to the field. Uh, she was the PC uh, Sylveon, but she definitely came through and did her darn thing. I definitely do appreciate her. Uh, shout out to Senju. Uh, you know, come on, dog. It's Senju. It's the Akatsuki. Shout out to the boy Afro Senju. Shout out to Hypno Toad. PK, of course. And shout out to Lilith, of course. Uh, say, uh, hello to Stall, who has been a regular, um, I forgot the name of your first evolution, but who has been a regular first evolution up until now, up until the Nim fight. Uh, I still need to go and, I guess, get you purified and, all that extra stuff for my tank growth. I actually went and evolved Raze, caught him all the way up. Uh, Yo Girl is still up here as well. Clear Patrick's up here. Shadow's still gonna be here for a minute. Rava is new. Uh, Bam Bam is new. We just caught these two in like the last two episodes ago. Uh, Skip is back as well. Lycan Cock is here. Uh, Vash is here. Vash is here. But then Vash is here. I actually just got him. I literally just got, I literally just brought him. I literally just got him, uh, got him here in this update. So it's cool. Shout out to Mama Bear. Shout out to G.O.D. I still would love to see the Charizard, uh, Mega Evolution. So I just have the, uh, Charizard at X. Vino has finally, uh, evolved. Uh, Abyss, shout out to Abyss. Shout out to Tesla. Shout out to Rex, of course. And then we got our... We got our other guys, the guys that I'm not really sure I'm going to use, but shout out to these guys as well. And thank you all so much for the support on the series. I, I appreciate everybody uh, for coming through and liking the series. I told I, every, you, know, every time this game gets updated, I always go in the community tab. You got a, a week to catch up. I'm going to start recording Pokemon Rejuvenation. Don't be mad at me when you see a random ass episode like 67 and you don't, you know what I'm saying? You're not caught up. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it's, it's really fun to play the Rejuvenation um, and Reborn. It's really cool to see these games. These are games that have been like very prevalent on the channel. Um, very, uh, They've been here for a good grip. I mean, the part one of Rejuvenation has me with the fro and like little small ass webcam like the corner. Dude, I want you to know, dog, never again. <laughs> My quality of this instant has gotten so much better and I'm so happy for it. But uh, if anything, I have to thank you all for I guess, supporting the... Uh, the content as well so enough of me being sappy and enough of me being um uh heartfelt but you know i love you all uh thank you so much for watching pokemon rejuvenation jan the development team thank you Mwah. amazing update this is enough this honestly this was like i said this is the best the best expansion ever i promise you uh, I can't wait to see what else happens next. We still got Madam X to destroy, uh, those time niggas to destroy. Uh, we got whatever Isaiah was talking about. Uh, we still got whatever, uh, corrupt shit that's gonna happen soon. So much is still going on. Uh, but so much happened in this update that it actually worked out. It, it's, it's a balance. You know, it, it, it leaves me longing for more, but we've already done so much. So I'm gonna end this off right here. Bye guys. Love y'all.